Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to show you how to collapse Koto Amai's Origami Roly Poly. So this obviously isn't the shaped model, but you can see all the legs are in there and then it'll roll up like a roly poly. So this is the crease pattern. I will try to put the link in the description. And then this, these are all the creases that you need in your paper to collapse the model. And you need a 28 by 28 grid, I believe. And it's not too difficult to pre-crease. It's, uh, for a Coda My model, it's pretty simple, but it's still sort of complex. So let's get into the collapse. So right here, I'm gonna start by making a mountain fold on this long line like that. And then we're going to make a valley fold, not on those valley folds right along there, but w one half unit down. So along that crease right there. So it's really just two units. Now do the same thing on the other side. Rotate and then fold along there. Two units. So now we should have this. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold it up like that. And we're just going to find this. We're going to start on the left side. So you can see like that. And we're just going to write at this square. We're going to start. But instead of collapsing the whole thing as one, what we're going to do is make long pleats throughout the whole rest of the model. Like that. And then this should start to pop up if you see that. And this should just collapse inwards like that. Kind of like in a Y stretch. And then you can do the same thing here. So just kind of a Y stretch like that. But this time you got to start pinching on that corner. Press that down and then press like that. Now we need to work on this. So this is just going to collapse like this. So you have this. And then these two points are going to come together, and that should point that together like that. And when that folds, should fold. They shouldn't be perfectly even, but a little bit off, so that you can shape them into points. And then mountain fold that little tiny flap behind. Like that. Now, press in this. And this part should be fully collapsed like that. Now we're going to continue these pleats all the way to the top. Now we're going to start to work right here. So press up like that. And this is just an, another Elias stretch like that. And this is going to kind of come up. And with this point, what we want to do is we want to get it pointing straight out. But to do that, we have to fold it flat first. And to fold it flat, what we need to do, make sure that all this is still pleated underneath, is press that down. And that should make a pleat along those lines. And now what we need to do is work on this. So this is like a tiny little stretch right there that just pops out like that and then pop out this area and it should just collapse like that and that's to get the first and the second looking like that now you can just fold it down for now and we're going to fold this whole section over so now you'll see that all this is collapsed like that but we need to do it on the other side or else it won't be even. So you kind of got to undo it a tiny bit so it doesn't lock in place. Start this on the other side. This time you got to start with the pleats here. And just pleat it up. All the way to there. And then the Elias stretches will kind of pop into place, just like that. And then this, you can all just ignore 
in there. Then this should pop up. And then just kind of press the, the pleats all together, especially down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a clip and just clip that right where the second set of legs, the point is right there. Just clip it like that. All right. So now what we're going to do is you'll see this should be a little bit easier to work with because it won't be going everywhere. But we want to open this up and do a little collapse down there. So press that together and then fold that to that side. Then fold that behind. All right, so now we should have that. And this should all press together so that if you wanted to fold this down, you can. But we want to fold it to the side. So open that up and you're going to have to move this back. I'm going to move it kind of in between the two sets. So that would be about right there on that line. And now you can open this up just barely. Fold that in. Just along, make that valley fold. And you'll see like that. And then do the same thing on this side. But before you press it all, you want to really open these up and make sure that there's no pressure in between there or else something's gone wrong. Now I'm going to take this and put that right on there. And we need to work down here. Now this part is pretty simple, but it's just super tiny. So you want to just pleat that like that. And it's just three normal pleats. They're just very, very small. But you want to make sure you're going through all the layers. Like that, or else the back side won't be as neat. So now what I want to do right there is just clip it off kind of in, in the middle a little bit. Like that. Kind of like in the middle of each unit. So now we have this part collapsed. And on the crease pattern, you can see that's kind of like this. And you have, you'll notice this is almost, except for that part, kind of copy and pasted. If you just put a line right here, you have three sets of that right there. So we need to really do what we did for these two flaps two more times. And to do that, a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is just for now, I'm going to open this up and it's going to be just fold it open so one flap there just in between that so that's three units or well, three little pleats down and i'm going to fold this over just to kind of lock that in place like that and then fold it back up and this is just going to make one long unit that's just a little bit easier to work with when it's poking out like that so now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It's just three units down and then that a little extra bit and then fold this over. The crease should already be there because of the grid and then just fold that back up. Like that. So now you should have something that looks like this. If it kind of comes out a little bit, that's okay. And so now it should be like that. And now you can notice we can open this up and that won't spring out very much, but it'll still work well. So what we want to do now is kind of just open up this very bottom part and do that little Elias stretch there. And then press that point in. 
and then fold that over. And we'll just do the same thing on the other side. So just like this, you're just gonna op open that up and then press this together so that this folds on that point. This won't be in a mountain fold, but we still gotta do some changes up here. Now, you're gonna kind of pull that paper out and press up on that point, just like that. So now, what we wanna do is work on this part right there. And just kind of pop this up, just like we did with the other one, and this will neatly fold like that. Just kind of fold over. Push that up, and you don't wanna do it too much because then too much on this side because it'll be harder to do on the other side to get it all to go together easy. But just kind of get all the creases in place, but don't press them too much. So now what I wanna do is make this little part, untuck these so that they're not in each other's way, and then just press this down, so like that. And now we're just gonna fold that in. Hold that, I'm gonna use a smaller one, like that. So now that we have that, we gotta do the same thing on the other side. But this one's gonna be a little bit harder to collapse because this is kinda curling underneath. So you're gonna wanna push that open and really just try to avoid that with your fingers on the back. And then press open all that, pull that up, and then you'll kind of get something like that. So this should be difficult because it's all the layers are coming out and then it's all at one point, it has to fold somewhere. But it shouldn't be that difficult because the layers right here are a little bit more controlled than if they were just sticking out. So now continue to do this and start to make those pleats like we did on the other side. So just like that, you wanna do this and go like that. Now we're gonna take this and press down like that. And then this should just fold down. And the same thing here. If you unclip that, this should just fold down. And then make sure this is gonna wanna stay inside. So gently untuck that before this comes out. Because if that stays in there it won't it'll be harder to do as the model goes on but now while it's right here it's a lot easier so now we should have that but to make it easier on ourselves on right there we're going to fold three units down fold that back fold this unit into that part and then fold that up so now to do the same thing right here fold three units down Fold this part into that part. No, um, right here. Fold this part into that part. It should reach right at the end. It should be the same length. And then fold it back over. So now you can see it's a lot shorter than it was. And that's good because we have a bunch of big pleats right there. Now we need to do this part one more time so we should get one more set of these legs. So, Let's open this up and start by doing that Elias stretch. And then just kind of go like that and collapse the rest of the side, kind of similar to that. And then it should make a mountain on that valley fold. And then the same thing right here. Don't unfold it all the way, but just partially. like that and then that is just kind of a step that's what makes it a little bit easier 
so that you can get those Elias stretches in place. But if you want to just skip that, that's okay. Now just pull the paper out and make the fine details that are in there. Like that. Push that up in there. And now, if you try to collapse that now, it won't work because this side is still pushing up. So you gotta do the same thing on both sides and don't do too much on one side without working on the other side a little bit. You'll probably have a side that is a little bit easier to collapse on because it'll probably be the side you started on or it'll just work better that way. And you'll just want to work on that. But make sure you work on both sides. The side that isn't that isn't the one you first collapsed will probably be a little bit easier because you will have already collapsed on the other side. Now fold that down. Like that. Open that up and fold down. Fold it over. And then these should fold that way. Now press that in. And then this should all collapse. And just keep making mountain folds through that. It'll get a lot smaller than it was when it was super long all the way out there. But that's because the model is getting smaller because we're collapsing it. So now open that up. And just press that there and then we can do the final fold right there fold that in and all that over then do it on the other side and make sure these are nice and open. Check inside there that you didn't do any creases wrong. And then press it flat. So that is the legs. Oh, and we need to, if you open that up, this has to fold into there. So that, just so that we can collapse this next part. So just do what we did over there. We do three units down and then the first segment, not the second. The first opening and then it should match the length of the other one then fold that back up so now you should have that and that looks pretty close to done but we still have all these layers in there to make another leg and another pleat like that so let's work on that so to start what we want to do is kind of make a mountain fold right along the edge that the point ends kind of right there and we just want to start it like that so go all the way to the end just like that now we're going to make a valley fold and that valley fold should make a point in there and then kind of use your fingers to round it out and not too far just a little bit now you want to make a tiny hint of a mountain fold up there You'll notice that's just where the Elias stretch is. Now we have two major sections to work on. This is going to allow us to have pleats right there. So you don't have to do the same thing on the other side yet because it's not as important. So you want to open this up just a little bit and you'll see this will kind of pleat on top of itself. So if you open that up and make that va valley fold immediately you'll see that it kind of starts to collapse. But if you open even more, just kind of press the creases in into place. And then you'll see how these will line up like that. But you also want to get all the way in there to get that little edge in. So to do that, I like to go underneath and just kind of squash it like that. So. If you have this, you can squash it that way, and that will kind of add it a little bit. If you need to, you can open this part up a little bit. That just kind of 
unhooks it, then you can get those folds into place by just doing that. It's not too difficult, and if you've made it that this far, I think you could probably do it. And then press this up, continue that mountain fold, and you'll see these will start to pop in, and you'll have those. If you've already pre-creased it, it'll be very easy. Then you'll see this will start to collapse like that, and you'll just make that fold right there, because all of this folds through that. That's why there's all the extra creases going right along there. Now we need to work on this part, which is not very difficult. You just press that into there, and this isn't a closed sink. You just pinch that together, and then if you have the other part, this will just fold on top. And you'll see it'll look like that with one square and then this. So now we have that and we need to do the same thing on this side. So make sure that this isn't sliding into that yet or that'll mess it up. Just have it like that. And start by making a long mountain fold through the whole thing. Be careful not to tear your paper. Mine tore a little bit. And it's really a lot easier if you unhook this. Just a tiny bit. And you can get in there a lot better. So I'm going to start on the end this time and just collapse that into place. And then this should come around. And then press that up and get the live stretch in place. So now really all we have to do is this. And I'm gonna go a little faster this time. Press that up, and then like that. There. Now, you're just gonna fold this part back in there. And it should all collapse nicely like that and also you kind of want to open that up and just press that in make sure that's really firm in there and that all the creases are working out right and now that should appear the same and you'll get this fold like that and it should look like this now all we have to do is this part. And this part is pretty simple, but it's also a little bit complicated. And it should look like this when it's done. So I'm gonna show you the procedure for doing that on a little bit bigger piece of paper because it's pretty tiny on there. So what you do is start by folding the edges behind. And to do that, just fold all the way through like that. And we have it in this position now. So it should look like this. And what we're gonna do is we have this pleat in also, like that. So all we have to work with is this bit right here. And to start, just shift this in, on both sides and it'll kind of pop up like that. Next, we're gonna find these two creases and just kind of press them down, but not too far because those will wanna come in. And then, we're gonna find these creases. And this probably won't pop into place as easy. And you're gonna find these creases. And these crimp so that this will change direction like that and become more in the grid. Now, you can see right here, we're just gonna push that up like that. And it should look like that. And then fold these behind and then that's what it should look like when it's done. So I'm gonna put that right there and we're gonna finish collapsing this. So just swivel the edges, fold this, locate these two little crimps on the sides, press them down, then take this whole part and just rotate it up. Now this 
we're going to open up and fold behind. Like that. And then the same thing right here. Open up and fold behind. Like that. So that is how to collapse Kodomai's origami roly-poly. You'll see now that if you go like this, you'll get the roly part. And also, now I'm going to show you how to distribute the legs so that it's a little more to what it's like in the crease pattern. So, what I like to do is I'm going to start at the top here. This is the head. These are the antenna, like that. What I like to do is open this, open it up to where we had these flaps. You can just fold it down. And you'll get these first two, and you can even fold it down to get the last one. Like that. So, what I like to do when I have all of these, you can see just open it up so that you have all of these three flaps, is I like to take it and reverse fold on where the valley fold is and just press that up there. So it should come like that and just reverse fold these legs up. Then do it with the second one. Like that. And then the last one. Like that. Now fold this down, and that's a couple legs. Now we're gonna fold this over, and you kinda wanna imagine this so that it would be in between those legs. Like that. We'll get into more of this if you want a shaping tutorial. Then get in between that. And then imagine there was another one there that this could get in between, so like that. And then you have all those legs. Then you also have this leg here. So you can kind of fold that so that it's like that. And then these are just a couple of details you can add in there. So then I think that's a pretty good amount of legs, seven, just like that. And then they all come out like that. And then it rolls up like that. So if you want a shaping tutorial, please like and comment if you want one. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not and see you in the next tutorial.